Hey guys, welcome back. Carter Bitsby Trippin. Bringing you guys some stuff. Hopefully you've been following me on Twitter. I've been doing some live updates of what's going on out here at the farm. Welcome back. Happy to bring you guys here. We got some of the tanks set up here. We're gonna be taking you guys through this week on all this setup here. So we got the, the nicer piping there. We're gonna get you guys the specifications on this. So this is a lot higher grade. It's not PVC, it's actually IPEX. It has a higher grade uh, temperature. We're gonna do some modeling with some standard PVC just to make sure our distances are right. It keeps the price down. We got the tanks in place here. These are, each of these vats here hold 250 liters of a solution. I'll show you guys that here in a second. It's the EC fluids. And we just started getting our little bulkheads here on, uh, screwing those down and getting them set. They have a little O-rings in there to make sure that there's no liquid there. We're gonna have an overflow set right here. We have two of the tanks in. Right now our basic modeling is these, these will hold anywhere from around close to 500 GPUs each. It's just a very dense setup. Set up here. So this is the fluid that we're using. This is the Electro Cool EC100. You guys can see that there. So we got one of these, a thousand liters here. And we have another uh, 250 there. This is the power setup. You guys have seen this before. I mean, don't mind the mess. Obviously, this is uh, whereas we're going through the setting up here, 3,000 amp service, and we got some of the GPU racks down from the last time we showed you guys. But getting this set up. So the first set here was just getting all the the connectors set up. This is the pump that we're going to be using here. You guys can see that set up here. We've got our inflow out here, shooting out that way. This is a big guy right here. Three foot pump right there. Got some specifications that we'll throw up on the screen here. And I'll take you guys outside. You guys can see the dry coolers on the setup that we got going on here. And here's the dry coolers that we got set up. I mean, these things are about four and a half foot tall. And our controllers for this are Unicons. Flip that down. You guys can see the setup here with the controllers. We got a temperature probe here that'll be inside down here in the manifold. So the manifold will be down here. You got a temperature probe that'll go inside that. Let me get that reset up here. As we have it go into the engineering fluids dry cooler here. So quite the setup. We got a pair of them here. For this farm, we can obviously expand. We have room to expand over here as we get this first solution set up. So we'll send you guys some specifications on that too. Don't put your fingers in there, my dudes. That will ruin your day. So like I was telling you guys before, we were waiting on a few components for this to get this build started. And one of the components here was this, which was a flow plate. So when I was saying the, we were missing the flow plates, these are laser cut flow plates that are, that are steel and they set down in here and they're all edged to make sure they make a good fit down there, right into the corner there. And the fluid comes up through these and then overflows into this section and then comes down through here. So you got your cold lanes that come through here that come through these flow plates and then the rigs will set and, and be anchored on these and then it comes up through here and then flows over down here. And then you got your hot lane here. That's kind of the setup there. We're gonna make sure that we have some graphics for you guys to show you how that works. A lot of the, the dimensions of this, so you guys have an understanding from size aspect, but hopefully this will be good. We got the tanks kind of in place right now. Now we're just measuring out. We are gonna benchmark and blueprint based on some base PVC just to make sure that our cuts are right and everything is good to go. All that piping in that setup right there was about $5,000. So we wanna make sure that's very expensive stuff. We have multiple multi-valves here, these little valves right here that allow a, you know, so we have the valve closed right there and that's straight open. So, you know, these little devices here, here are, you know, 140 bucks a piece. And then some of this other high temperature stuff's a lot more expensive. So we're gonna do some of the basic cuts with this just to make sure everything's good and fitting and then we'll get into it again this is a kind of a crawl walk run for us too and we want to do this right you know the first time when we go to with the expensive cuts to make sure that things are right but we're taking you guys through that you'll see some b-roll that'll come through 
maybe some music as we start to do the cut. We'll do a time lapse of some of those built tonight. Stay tuned. Hope you guys like this kind of content as we bring more stuff to you guys in this build out uh, to turn this farm, 2500 GPU farm, into a liquid immersion version. Peace.